on this beautiful day I'm gonna try to replace the brake pads on the Lexus RX 300 2000 year model uh, I done this mm, decades ago I haven't done it in a while but I got some refreshing videos and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the pads the pads will be I went to O'Reilly got them right here and for the price of uh, 42 38 I also got this tool right here which is the one that's gonna help me to push back the cylinder uh, jacking I'm gonna jack this to remove the front tires I had placed a block right here in the rear and we'll see I'm gonna pick it up and replace just the front brake pads be back Loosen the bolt before I lift it uh, kind of give it a jump start I went ahead and jacked it up I'm uh, using a second jack or extra support and I'm getting everything loose all right so here it is this is the caliper that's where the brake pads are uh, let's see right there uh, in order to access the brake pads I want to have to remove this bolt it's number 14 and turn this one loose so I can hinge up the caliper and have access to to the brake pads all right uh, this is our number 14 it was a little hard to get him off but I'm undoing taking the last one the bottom one up the top one is a bit loose that will allow me to hinge out this part which uh, is happening see it right there I think it just falls back and this cylinder is the cylinder we're gonna push back once we put the new pad uh, these pieces are they just come out and then the new ones are put back in guided by this groove top and bottom I can simply go ahead and put the new one on and do the same thing in the back all one new one real thick it'll go like that it'll go like that but I had some grease they sell it too so I can lubricate this grooves and some people do this part right here where this meets metal let's see Okay, I'm going to repeat the same procedure here in the back. Pry them out. Here they are. Place them down to see how fat it is. Now, this piston needs to be readjusted. So the thick, fat thickness of this should, you know, make it go through. One thing that I had to do is I had to get up under the hood and li uh, unscrew the, the lid from the brake fluid reservoir. That one is here. So when I push the piston, the fluid's gonna come back up and it's gonna uh, vent. 
There it is. We'll put it on the side. Now, you gotta keep an eye on the level. If it goes beyond max, I'm just gonna have to take it out. All right, let's go back here. With the use of the old pad, that's gonna help me push the piston back using this clamp I think I pressed it enough that it's I think it should be enough all right I'm just gonna reverse the process tightening this bolt I already put it started I'm gonna tighten I'm gonna tighten this put the tire back and this brake pad is done as the pistons been compressed back the fluid is going up so I'm gonna make sure I pull some of them out so it won't be spilling all over the place I got the level back to max uh, I had to pull some of them out so just in case after I change the other pad I'm gonna pump the brakes and see if the level needs more or, or is good. We'll see. Second tire was done. Now it's time to check on the level. See how much oil I subtracted from uh, the reservoir as I was pushing the pistons. This is the oil that I added it throughout the months, it, trying to compensate this, the wear, you know, the pad. Now it looks like it's sort of good. I want to put a little bit back, cover the system, and then pump the pedals and see what happens. Okay, I test drove it, and uh, well, before I turn it on I press the brakes and yes it went all the way down then I press it again and regain the the pressure then I test drove test it real good so that's how you change or replace the front brakes pads on a Lexus RX 300 thank you see you next time bye